Hey everybody, welcome to Tambos. Okay, a lot of you have been wanting this video. And it is on how to make ponios. Just like a regular ponio with no bow or anything on it. Something like this. So I'm going to show you how to cut your ribbon, how to place it, how to sew it, how to put the ponytail holder on, and so on. So here are the items you're going to need. You are going to need 8 to 10 different colors and designs of ribbon. Whatever goes with the color scheme you're working with. So in this case I am using this is one and a half inch. So you want two of each. And then I have two of the, the hot pink. I have and it's good to use all kinds of different ribbon because it just gives it some variation. So this is the double ruffle ribbon in black. And then I have a gray. This is actually a, kind of a satiny ribbon. And then I always like to do something to make it stick out. So I'm going with this pretty hot pink and I think that's not silver, but... Okay, so basically what you'll do is you'll measure out to 15 inches. Sometimes I go a little over 15 inches because I cut them at an angle. So I cut them at different angles. So this one is this way and this one is this way. So you will need 8 to 10 of those. And it doesn't really matter what size. You're going to need, of course, your cutter or your scissors, whatever you want to use. And you're going to need a lighter to heat seal them. And you're going to need some needle nose pliers. And then I have this cutter that I, it's actually a button cutter, but I use it to cut my uh, yeah, zip tie. So you are going to need a small zip tie. This is just a little, I don't know if you can see how little it is. It's not very big. You really don't need them that big because they are strong. And then, of course, you're going to need a ponytail holder. So, here's what you're going to do. You're going to cut your ribbon, and then you're going to heat seal it. And then you're going to take your ribbon, and you are going to crisscross them. Kind of like an X or an asterisk. Whatever you want to... So you put them in an X. So, and I always do the biggest ribbon first. So in this case, this is the one and a half inch ribbon. And then you can just kind of guess to see what goes next, which I think I'll go with the pink. And there again, just, just crisscross them. Make sure that the angles are all the same. Now on this, when you go to cut this, if you cut it both like this, your angles are going to be off because you can't flip it over. So you will want to like cut one of them this way and then flip it over and then do your angles the same as this but on this side to make it even. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so then just crisscross that. And then I think I'll do the black. So there's really no rhyme or reason, just kind of put it on there to where it looks good. And I usually put the prettier one over the top. Okay, so there is how you put it. It's kind of like an asterisk or an X. And then I take it and I kind of push down in the center just a little and then I bring it in just a little to make more of a wider X. Then you can do one of two things. You can either push down in the middle and then lift it up. Or you can use a salon clip, which I actually have some smaller salon clips that I like to use. So just hold down in the middle and then you can pick it up like that. Sorry. And then you're going to take it over to the sewing machine 
and then we are going to lay it down and we're going to sew across here back and back again so three different times we're going to sew across it just to give it some stability and it's a lot easier to work with so just kind of make sure you've got it in the middle and hold it up to make sure that it's it's even on both sides so let's go over to the sewing machine okay so we're here at the sewing machine so if you have it on the salon clip just put it in there like that get it lined up remove the salon clip and then just push it up to it put your needle down and I always hold the back of this because it tends to want to suck it down and then just slowly sew across it and then go back which I just kind of hold it and let the machine pull it back and then I go across it one more time cut your excess threads off And there it is, all sewn. So you can see how it's sewn across there. So we'll go back over to the craft table. Okay, so there it is. You can see how it's sewn, hopefully, across there. Sorry, I don't have the best lighting in here. So it's not gonna come apart, it's it's, on, it's together, good. <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick it up and you're just gonna basically fold it in half like you're pinching it. And actually, you can use your stitching as a guide. So you just take it, fold it in half. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue down here you don't want to close the whole thing, just in the bottom. So let me switch hands. So just a little bit in the bottom. And then you'll want to pinch it so that it's like that. See how this is still kind of open? So you keep it pinched until the glue pretty much dries. And then you're gonna take your zip tie. And then you're gonna actually, I'll do this like this. So you still have it pinched and then you're just gonna take this excess and pinch it back. You see that? Okay. So then, you put your zip tie and just push it through just enough to kind of get it started. And then I turn it around to the back. You don't want to go all the way back. You just, I kind of stay towards the top of the back. And so you just want to, kind of like that. See how it's in the back, but it's not and then I'll turn it over so that maybe you can get a better look. And then get it adjusted right where you want it. And then I take my needle nose pliers and then I tighten it really tight. And then I cut it. So now it looks like this. So now I'm going to flip it back over and with the knotted part, well, I don't want to call it the knotted part, the, the bulky part of the zip tie, you want to put some glue just underneath that. Just a glob of glue and then you're going to take your ponio and then you're going to push it down on there 
careful not to get burnt. Strings, strings, and more strings. Okay, so then once that is drying, you can go ahead and get hmm, color. We'll, we'll go ahead and use pink. So you'll want to just take some pink. I don't know, maybe five inches long. Cut it. And then you're just going to make a knot, just a knot, just like that. Then you're going to flip it back over and then make sure that these are all the way you want them. And then you're going to glue the back of this knot right here and that will make your center. Now, if you are going to put I have one around here. Say you're going to put a stacked bow on it, then you you don't want to glue under that because then your stacked bow will not be able to go clip under it. So you'll just have to guess on the center and then go around and glue. So we're going to go ahead and put a dot of glue. Get a glue stick. Okay, so just a dot of glue. And you you can actually put it on this. just enough to hold it and I usually pull it taut not real tight but just taut to keep it its shape <clears throat> and then once it's dry enough then I fold this and then I kind of guess how far it needs to go so we'll need to cut that much off heat seal that and if you heat seal it <clears throat> excuse me if you heat seal it and then pinch it it'll kind of stick together on its own and then I usually take a little bit of hot glue and put in that little valley whatever you want to call it to hold it and then you just wrap it and glue it now I'm gonna have a little bit of extra so I'll just glue it over and it can give a little bit of extra padding okay so can you see that how I did that so now you do the same thing with this one and that is going to be just a little too long. I just always try to use five inches because it, it gives you, it's easier to work with. A little bit of glue. And then you're going to wrap that. Sorry, I'm keep getting off camera here wrap that around to that so that is actually still just a tad too long okay So you have your knot. And then your ponyo or your ponytail holder on the back. So that is how you make it. And it is secure. I mean, you can tug, you can so those of you that are making them for cheerleaders, they will be very durable. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, I suppose you could hand sew it. It's just going to take you longer 
So that's the pony oboe. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below and I will try to get you answered. Thanks for watching.